What's happening my friends? Ted King here, co-founder of Rooted Vermont, your chief parking lot attendant for Rooted Vermont. And with my with my hair being tamed right now, I've got my head full of potential for a mullet as we celebrate mullet protocol here at Rooted Vermont, where we are business up front and ready to have a massive party for everyone out back. Now I've done preview videos of the courses in years past, so if you wanna check those out, you can scroll through the, the video library or just check out the show notes below. We have two courses. The longer Sip of Sunshine course is gonna be about 85 miles and north of 8,000 feet of climbing. The Little Sip is going to be about 48 miles and 4,000 feet of climbing. Both courses are gonna feature hard pack gravel with punchy climbs and idyllic mountain, farm, and quintessential Vermont vistas. We're gonna pass your favorite llama farm and see barns of all kind as we pedal through the lush green mountains. This video is about the new class four sections that you're gonna find on the longer Sip of Sunshine course. Class four, of course, are the infamous unmaintained roads of Vermont. They're historic by modern standards, they're beat up and in any state of disrepair, and they are one heck of a lot of fun. I set out with my friend, pro cyclist Brennan Wirtz, to show him around some of my favorite roads. The first class four section comes around mile 25, which if you've ridden route in the past, you know and love. As of the filming date in late July, the dry line early on in the first section is to the left where you can just skirt the puddles. That area is gonna to segue to a narrow bridge and then the course gets a little bit rougher where you're gonna to have to pick a smart line to avoid dabbing. It rolls up some, again, more puddles, and again, dry line is gonna to be to the left. Boom, you're back out on traditional roads. From here, I'd say it's probably another mile or two before we encounter the new class four section. I think this is a massive improvement to the course. It's a little bit longer than the previous section here and it removes a super chunky descent. So you're gonna veer right off the main road and be going uphill, at which point you're going to meet one of the coolest private property road signs you'll ever see from the comfort of two wheels. Let's look at the statistics. The entire section is gonna be 2.2 miles. You'll gain 360 feet of elevation and lose 175. So the average gradient is up 0.4% with a maximum gradient kicking over 15%. That brief section of super steep is gonna come after you take your second veer to the right. You'll roll up a little bit, cross a bridge, and I wouldn't be surprised if you see most people walking here. It's only gonna be a couple seconds long, so don't worry about it taking a huge dent in your time. So by my calculation, this is the steep part. That was short. And if you're super deft, you're riding it. And from here, you're going to begin the meandering descent. It's never super steep here, but of course, since you are descending on class four, be aware of the terrain underneath you. Smooth sailing into a sharp right turn, and once again, cruising on traditional gravel. The other new class four section you're gonna encounter around mile 50. You'll be on gravel, turn left onto green, and then you'll mosey up and to the right and begin the class four section with a fitting sign to your left. The entire section is 1.6 miles, 225 feet of elevation gained to 340 feet of descending. Effectively, you're gonna go up halfway, meander over the top for a wee little bit, dodge some rocks, dodge some puddles. Overall, we're just cruising here and then come down the other side. So you have a net downhill greater than the net uphill over the course of the same distance. Yes, you are correct, it is a steeper downhill than up. Also, be aware because there are a handful of whoop-de-woo water bars on that descent. Right turn to wrap it up, and again, traditional gravel roads bring you to the next section. So that's it, that's all. I'm thrilled about these changes. I think you're gonna dig these changes. We are so excited to have you here at Rooted Vermont. Looking forward to see you. See you soon at Rooted Vermont 2022.